In this video, I'm gonna give you 10 really simple steps that have done now during a slow portion of the season. It will prepare you really well for next season because again, while we're not going up much in power level, we do have a reprised raid coming up. We'll have ARC 3.0. So there'll be a lot of things that we wanna hit the ground running on content. And if that interests you, these 10 simple steps will get you there quickly. So first off, I'm gonna go over some of the things you should be playing before next season. So first off, Solstice. Solstice is a super easy way for anyone, including free to play players, to get really end game armor without having to master end game PvE content. Now, you can do end game PvE content, but this is a super easy way. I have another video where I talk about the easiest way to do that. This will allow you to get really good armor and also get a ton of materials that you'll need in the next season. Tip number two is play GMs. Now, I know some people are like, GMs, those are crazy. Not really. If you put a little bit of effort and you've gotten to the minimal power level, because remember, if there's a minimal power level for GMs and then it doesn't help you get higher level. As long as you get there, there are two super simple GMs, Inverted Spire and Arms Dealer, that if you do those and you get the and you get the rewards for defeating all the champions, you will easily get a lot of the materials that I'm going to talk about later in this video very easy. Again, there's other ways to do that, but with these GMs, honestly, as long as you play through the normal version of the strike and the normal nightfall so you get kind of a feel of where everything is and just a little bit careful even on lfg without a dedicated fire team you can easily grind through inverted spire and arms dealer and get those materials you need so i would definitely do that now the next step is saving bounties now i know this is a controversial step some people don't like to do it and you don't have to do it here's the thing though one of the keys when you're trying to level XP is getting to those bonuses, both your fire team bonus, which is when you turn bounties in, how much bonus XP you get, and also being able to get to just your base XP bonuses on the seasonal track. One of your goals really early the first few days, I do it on the first day, is you want to get to level 26 as soon as possible. The main reason for this is if you get to level 26 fairly easily and fairly quickly, when you're turning bounties in with your fire team at that point, you will actually get a 44% bonus to XP if you have Blinding Loud in your Ghost and if you've done everything else. This is fairly easy to do. The first step of this is obviously doing the seasonal challenges next season. The second step is going to be turning in bounties. and so. Turning in those bounties again across your characters are going to allow you to get to this and then get to some of the other ones, but level 26 is a minimum. It's going to give you some of the first unlocks off the artifact. It's going to give you some additional power level, but it's going to allow you to accelerate when you do other activities to get the XP quicker. And the whole point of this is you want to be able to, when you're playing activities, to be as efficient as possible. The more bonuses you have, Every time you play an activity, you're going to get more XP and you're going to be able to get to those levels quicker. As far as specifics around bounties, you're going to want to get as many of the XP++ plus pluses as possible. Now, there's easily 16 of these. There's the five clown ba bounties. Now, those are a little bit more difficult to get sometimes just because, like, who wants to play Gambit that much? And there are two Gambit ones, so it's up to you how much you do. But the easy ones are the two Cosmodrome, two Dreaming City, to Moon, to Lectern, and to Europa Bounties. Again, these give you 12,000 XP, so I would try to get all those across all three characters. Again, it's gonna be up to you on how much you do. However, once you get past that, you can get XP plus bounties pretty much anywhere. Those are the non-repeatable bounties across all the vendors. So do as many of those as possible. And honestly, you can do those in this, your sleep. If you're doing an activity, just pick up the bounties. And usually just randomly, even if you don't even really plan it, you're gonna complete those. Then, if you, for whatever reason, towards the end, don't have the rest of the bounties, you want to uh, basically fill up your bounty container, try to do some of the repeatables, but I would try to stay away from those unless you, you know, again, don't have time to do everything else. However, the one thing is when you're saving bounties, keep room for a few bounties at the end because your total that you can hold is 63. That's across your quest and your bounties. You're going to get a quest for the new season, so you don't want to really go in and just fill it up completely. Leave a little bit of room there. One other thing I didn't mention is as you're checking this, there is a website called Destiny Recipes where you can go and actually check the effect of your bounties. Do that. I will talk about that with some of the other items on this list. The next thing is Save Glimmer. So going to next season, you're probably going to want to do a lot of upgrades, things like that. That stuff costs Glimmer. So you don't really need the Glimmer right now. You're towards the end of the season. Again, you can get this by saving, again, Ship Sparrows and Ghosts, primarily from Season 3, but you can get other ones if possible that when you buy them, 
You're gonna get less glimmer than you paid for them, but you will still get some glimmer. And again, going next season, that's an easy way just to hoard that across all three characters. Again, Destiny Recipes has an easy way to track that and tell you which are the correct ones. But again, season three, if you have them, those are the best ones. After that, the, it, it's hit or miss on which ones give you the most. I would also go in and buy materials. So again, you're going to get a lot of planetary materials by just doing solstice and GMs that I talked about above. But if you need to get extra ones, I would definitely buy planetary materials where you can because you're going to have some of that glimmer, right? That's free that you can go ahead and do that. And at some point they have talked about resetting how they're going to do that portion. And I assume at some point it's going to become more expensive. So definitely you never know what's going to happen. So I would definitely do that now. Again, you can check Destiny Recipes and it will show you where you're at currently with that. I would also buy and find resources. So that's stuff like legendary shards, ascended shards, prisms, cores, um, even upgrade modules that you can buy. Again, for most of these, again, running GMs and Solstice, like I talked about at the beginning of this video, which I think is important, will allow you to get some of this by default. But you can also, with some of that extra glimmer and stuff that you have, you can also get that fairly easily. And again, for things like Ascendant Shards, just by playing Solstice alone, you're gonna get so many purple drops, you're gonna shard those. And again, you're gonna get a ton of shards that you use in the next season. And again, as a reminder, Destiny Recipes is a great way to go and find out where you're at currently and where you should be. I would go ahead and clean out my vault. So you're gonna get a ton of great guns, you're gonna craft guns, you're gonna wanna collect red borders. That stuff is gonna take up vault space. Now, Destiny did increase the vault space recently, but I would definitely do this. Again, Destiny Recipes is a great place. Don't use this as your sole way of picking what you want, but through this, it has different sliders and check boxes you can check to see what you want to keep based on certain archetypes. You have duplicates of things. Maybe something isn't a god roll. Be careful about the god rolls because, again, that's the that's specific community members' opinions. But this is a good way at least to get some guidelines to clean up your vault because you want to have as much free space as possible. Get to pinnacle level at, if you possibly can. And, and the reason for this is if you get to pinnacle level, then when you get to the next season, then you only have to do pinnacles. You don't have to do powerfuls at that point. You only have to get pinnacles. And when you're trying to get, again, if you're trying to prepare for the raid or trying to do other activities, it just makes it easier to be able to level up. So for that, I would, if you're not at pinnacle level, right, if you're not at 1570, I would just go in and when you have time, do what you like to do is along your characters. A lot of times you might do your main character of the 1570 and forget about your backup characters. The great news about that is you go in your backup characters now, it does an average across all of your characters. Again, it doesn't have to be stuff to you equip on what you're, what, when you get a, a drop, what it's gonna drop at. And so for all those characters, you can really quickly level them up and finish them up. And you can do that again. Pinnacles are core activities. So again, it's usually playing three strikes or three crucible matches, things like that. It's the current seasonal raids, the current dungeons and activities from that season. Also nightfall competitive and trials. So again, pick what you wanna play. If you don't wanna do that, it's fine. This is just gonna make it a lot easier next season to be able to level up without a lot of effort. Again, we have the free time right now. Then finish up your seasonal items. So you may have, tri again, if you're into this, you may have triumphs you wanna finish up. A great place to go and check that is you can go over to Braytech and they have an area that lists your triumphs and a list ones which are expiring. So that's an easy way to be able to tell, hey, what am I not gonna be able to do next season? You wanna pick up any Ingrams from vendors? I know that's kind of a slog, but it's free materials. All those are gonna be purples. You're gonna get materials from those when you break them down if you don't need them. If you want to, if there's any titles you wanna finish, go ahead and make sure you look through that again. Looking at Braytech will tell you which triumphs are gonna expire. You can also guild things. So, you know, I was using this portion of the season sometimes to finish off my Conquer, Guild, things like that. But again, that is if that's important to you. So just finish up whatever. Just make sure, don't go into next season like, I should have done that. Just go and check and see what's expiring. And finally, relax. The stuff that I talk about for the most part is primarily just playing Solstice, GMs, and then any pinnacles level of your other characters. So do what you want and do it, like I said, part-time. Don't try to grind everything out. Do what in this list is of most value to your play style and what you're trying to get out of the next season. Again, that might be nothing, but I think at, at a minimum, if you play Solstice, play any GMs and things like that, and do a few of these things, it will help you. But again, it's up to you. Don't stress out. Make sure towards the end of the season, they take a little bit of break because going into a new season with raids and activities like that, it's an easy way to get burnt out on Destiny if you don't take some time off. Do something else, touch some grass, for me, we're also doing some Destiny 1 raids just because we know there's a reprise raid coming up. So again, do what
do whatever it is, play other games, pretend like you you know know your family, things like that. That's the video, guys. If you like it, feel free to like the video, subscribe to my channel, check my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians in the Tower.